Greetings everybody, Okami Games Online. Welcome back to more Persona 5. Last time, we saw on uh, nearly get molested by a guy. We'll, we'll leave it at that. And in this episode, we're gonna try to get the third letter of introduction. See how close we can get to that. Oh, there's a guy there. Here, there's a guy that's coming after me. Oh, and I missed my swing. Lovely, lovely! That's a good start to an episode. Thank God I mean you're not too much to us. Encourage anything from this point onward. Gonna be a slaughter. One enemy on the floor. Uh, if only I had something I had to tackle on. You know what? There you go. I'm like, wait, I could just do that and save myself the SP. See, this is why you think about things. Alright. Alright. Shadow defeated! Let's go, Joker! So what's over here? There's a shadow ahead. The decision is yours, Joker. It looks to me. Let's get you out of Show here. me your true form! It looks to me like this is an area that has. Yeah, I see a uh, passageway down there. But we need to be in mouse form to reach it. Which means we're going to be going back there not too long from now. Unless there's a switch here, that'd be convenient. Nope. That would just be too convenient. No, wouldn't it? Hey, right, come here. Come here. Show me your true and form. Alright. Well, step number one. Open this damn door. Okay. And now, to reactivate this. Now, go back to the door we just opened. Let's go through a few more mouse segments, unfortunately, but that's eh, not a big deal. Just go over here. So is there a hidden passageway here? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, you we know this hidden passageway is here, so let's take it. And oh, you are not gonna be locked. That is a surprise. Yeah, you were locked, so let's unlock you. Yes. And is this? End of this segment? Mm, doesn't look like we're gonna be quite that lucky. Yeah. Oh. Let's go hit that switch again. Dang it, game! Making my life difficult. Straight ahead is where we need to go to activate the switch. This is just getting the backtracking portion. Uh, backtracking is never fun in games. Well, I don't know. I guess that's something that's up for debate. Because if backtracking was not fun, games at times, then nobody would like Metroidvania games. And I love Metroidvania games, so, uh, I think my point has Show become me your true form. Goodbye. Ah, oh, that door's locked. That's probably just a treasure chest. Not worth it. Just to go back and hit that switch again? I do not want to be bothered with doing that. Okay, let's get Show you me out. your true form. Goodbye. But if that's that room has the, the design I'm thinking of. Mighty accurate to switch again. Okay. Well, we'll find out. Because this looks like a room where we want to be in uh, in mouse form to get to where we need to go. Are there any statues in the area? If so, that's an indication we probably want to do that. 
Show me your true Hi, buddy. form. Yeah, you don't. You did not need your face. Okay, good. Get me out of here. Yeah, just kick down that damn door. Here we are. Hmm. Seems like we managed to reach the back deck. Look. Hey. What the? This is gonna be a show too. Be careful, guys. It looks way tougher than the other ones. I think they're tightening security. Hmm. Wouldn't be surprising. We've taken down two targets after all. Let's proceed forward cautiously. <laughs> cautiously, you say. You don't know me. your true form. Goodbye. Yeah, that, that was some amount of caution. Alright, there's a save point here. That's nice. Hmm. So now we can uh, safely travel back to the back deck. If need be. But now is the matter of everything I'll reveal else your true form. in this area. There's probably another guy around here we gotta... We gotta talk to. We'll figure that out in a sec. I want these guards out of here. Show me your true form. So I will get them out of here very easily. Okay, are you the guy? Mm, that's looking like an L. He's down here. I see a lot of dot dot dots. A lot of people we can talk to. Are you the person? No. I don't think you're the person, but I could be wrong. Hey, look. You weren't the person. Is it the bartender this time? Oh no, it's probably... He might not even be in this area, because it's probably the entertainment hall I need to go to. Joke. Stop right there. Who is stopping me? I'm talking to you guys. Come over here for a sec. Huh? Wait, does he mean us? He looks super dangerous. No one get involved. Even if he's just some old cognitive thing. What are you punks mumbling on about? There you've been making quite a mess in here. We're surely not making a mess, we swear. Who are you, anyway? I'm the one asking questions around here. Now drink some salt, water, and reflect on what you did. I'm not leaving this to you guys. Oh god, time to waste on little punks like these. Come on, man. Salt water? What does that mean? <laughs> Whoa, hold on a second. Look out, here they come. Dude, you guys. Miracle Punch. You're down on the ground. I think there are other buddy here down on the ground as well. They answer that question. Both on the ground. To oblivion, you two go. And that's how we like to see battles go. Critical, critical. Oh, I'll attack. Mission accomplished. <sighs> we emerged victorious. That was a funny damn it. They were totally trying to kill us. Maybe because we caused the scene at both the restaurant and the pool, somebody has to clean up the mess. Wait a second. Clean up the mess? Oh. That's why they call him the cleaner. Because he mops up any trouble that shows his face. That should make him pretty easy to find, though. You just gotta disturb peace somehow. What? But doing so would have an adverse effect on us finding the other wires of introduction. Yeah. Taking him down last, so there's gotta be the smart way to approach this. TV station present near in the entertainment hall. That will be our next target. Now let's actually enter and not get stopped by enemies that are too weak for us. We are in the entertainment hall. This feels like a very familiar gambling scene. Some 
Who are we even looking out for? Huh? Oh, a treasure chest. Well, I see oh. treasure chests. Okay, open. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. All right. It seems. The entertainment hall. Yep. The slot-loving TV station presence should be here. Let's search the area for him. In order to save this country that has been you. by villains. If I was a betting man, no pun intended, he'd be one of the guys who'd be sitting at the slots. And I say no pun intended, but pun was totally intended. Okay, nobody here. Maybe another floor down then. Nope. 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 Oh, safe room. I think so. Let's get that registered. Ah. Now we can fast travel to the entertainment hall. Alright. I don't think you will be the person. Downstairs, huh? Alright. Well, that's info for us. Info we will put to good use. Downstairs we go. Hey! Look at all these slot machines. Maybe we'll find that TV station prez we heard about here. Yes! In that case, why don't we try searching for him? Alright! Should be easy to find him. Huh? I'm sure of that. Isn't the man sitting over there one of them? He's the president of a TV station, isn't he? He gives letters of introduction to executives of companies who are willing to sponsor his programs. That's a difficult condition to meet. Wanna just beat it out of him? Let me handle this. For real? But... I'll allow it. You've got this, Noir. Yes, Senpai! Cat Senpai? A letter of introduction. But you're so obviously a child. I'm Haru Okumura, daughter of the president of Okumura Foods. I believe we sponsored you as well. Oh, you're her. It's true that I'm quite indebted to President Okumura. He funded us extremely well, after all. However, it looks like he got a little carried away. My condolences. <laughs> Regarding his exploiting management, Mr. Shido asked me to defend him as much as I could. I even threw some extra security his way, but there were limits to what I could do. The damage almost reached up to Mr. Shido himself. President Okumura had to be cut off. Cut off? It seems he didn't just cast him off his ship, but also used him to trap the Phantom Thieves. Bravo, Mr. Shido. Truly a nasty maneuver. <sighs> Won't you please give me a letter of recommendation? Once our company recovers, I will arrange for us to cooperate with you in a sponsorship role. You're the daughter of the late president. Do you really have the authority to do that? Your employees probably resent you. <laughs> well, that's not important. I'm in your father's debt, after all. I can repay some kindness to his daughter. Thank you. Very much. But my, your father truly was a fool. And here I thought we were going to be able to get out of this with no fight, but that lack of music says otherwise. He could have lived a life of luxury if only he'd done what he was told. You know, I'm the one who broadcast the moment of his mental shutdown. Our rating shot up because of that. <laughs> Stop it. Huh? How 
could you talk about my father's death like that? Hmm. That's just business. If you like, we can get you in a documentary. Overcoming death to rebuild a family company. You're so cute, you might just get good ratings. <laughs> I will not forgive you for that! You had better apologize to my father! <laughs> Time to save her! You got it. Are you... thieves? Yep, the Phantom Thieves. Nice to meet you. All right. I wonder if we're gonna get as lucky as we did last time. Oh, well, there's one critical. There's two. We actually can get three. Three criticals in a row. Perfect. Perfect. That's a strong start. Anything we do is a strong start. But one of them's already gone. Not bad. Uh, yeah, let's go with one back. Well, I know who's going down next, and that'd be you. Bye. Critical two. I feel not terrible at all for us. Let's all right. go. Yeah, well, we're getting critical you left and right. Oh, I'll attack you again. That might have been more interesting if we didn't get criticals at the Wazoo. Got the live introduction. I assume as part of, of the media, you have knowledge about quite a few important topics. It will not take your life as long as you share the knowledge that you've kept from the public. Remember that Kanashiro guy? The one from the Mafia who ended up on the news a while back? Well, the money he was gathering all went to Shido san Hmm. <laughs> Shido and Kanashiro were connected? Indeed. As well as that old man, Madarame. His counterfeit business, along with Kanashiro's mafia, aided Shido's son quite a lot financially. I see. I understand now. Hey, you were forced in the news to be about catching Shido all the time, right? I'm sick of him. Wait, this guy's not a real person. Tell him ain't gonna do shit for us. Yes. Come on. Do we have to take down Shido himself? Or we do have to take down Shido himself. That wasn't a question. That was an exclamation point. So it seems like most of the people we've had to take down... I would never have imagined that their leader would commit suicide. Akechi-kun, did you anticipate this curious turn of events? Oh, certainly not to this extent. But it is important to note that he was the mastermind behind the recent commotion. Getting captured must have wounded his pride irreparably. Such things happen often to insurgent leaders. According to the police, the whereabouts of the other members are still currently unknown. Considering they no longer acquire testimony from the leader, the investigation will be hard to... May I butt in for a second? Of course. The Phantom Thieves may have laid low since then, but they must not be excused. I don't care if they come after me. For the victims of their evil deeds and for their families. I will capture the remaining Phantom Thieves. No matter what. My apologies. I didn't mean to get so worked up. No wonder they call you an ace detective of justice. What passion. How about we use this opportunity to poll the audience? Those who believe the detective of justice will annihilate the Phantom Thieves. Press your buttons now. Hmm. 
my, everyone in the audience agrees. Looks like you can't back down now. I will do the best I can. Oh, but I do have to study for my college entrance exams. I might not be able to promise that. None of these people know that I was an undesirable child. I wanted people to rely on me. I wanted to be needed. I devoted myself to my studies, acted as an honor student, and made my name as an ace detective. And thanks to the NAV app, and the persona bestowed upon me by the gods, I managed to dispose of any who got in my way. Though it took me some time to finally do so. All that remains is to tell him. But still, wasn't their leader's suicide a letdown for you, given how long it took to apprehend him? I think if it were me, I would have collapsed from the shock. True. It did make me feel somewhat dizzy. Just a little, though. Perhaps my mind was worked up due to the major task I had undertaken. Hmm. Hey, who is that? If you don't turn off your phone, the Phantom Thieves might change your heart. A phone? See? Even a catchy coon's face has stiffened up. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I'm not bothered. Just make sure to turn it off when you go to the movies. <laughs> Ketchy had his insecurities to deal with, which maybe will let him to do what he did. Hmm. But as I was saying before that happened, uh, it seems most of the people whom we've targeted thus far have had some connection to Shido. The only one who, uh, that I can think of so far who is unaccounted for is Kamoshida, but that might have just been his own lustful desires. We're saving the player for next, so that means the IT present guy is going for next. Alright, well, we got the third letter of introduction, so next time on Persona 5, we're gonna search for the IT president next, which means we're probably gonna be turned into mice again. Prepare for that. See you guys then.